Mike Beer in New York. We have a big uh, big day of racing on the inner dirt at Aqueduct on Saturday. Three graded stakes races. The first of those three goes as race number four. It's the grade three Tom Fool, uh, $200,000 purse for older sprinters. They're going to go six furlongs on the inner dirt. And, uh, you know, uh, you're going to start your handicapping with this race, and you're going to start it by looking at the very first horse in your PPs and deciding, you know, how do you feel about strapping groom in this race? The horse that goes out for David Jacobson and strapping groom, he's even money on the morning line, and uh, he's just way the horse to beat in this race. Um, a horse who ran a, the last time we saw him, which was back on December 21st, ran a 110 buyer speed figure. He's a prior grade one winner from earlier on in the summer of 2013 up at Saratoga in the Forgo Stakes. And, you know, he's just a horse who, if he's going to run one of his good races, um, I think it's pretty clear to everybody that he's just going to beat this field. That's not to say that there aren't some questions about this horse, though, and, and whether he will actually come back and run his very best race. He was slated uh, to run against several of these horses in the February 1st Toboggan Stakes. He did not make that race. Uh, due to a quarter crack. Uh, he was 3-5 to five on the morning line that day. They scratched him. He's going to show up here. We'll see if he runs his very best race. Will he? I don't know. If he does, he'll win. Um, just to give you some food for thought on a horse who's going to be a very short price, let's take a look at a formulator stat uh, for his trainer, David Jacobson, who wins tons of races. Uh, but David Jacobson, um, off of this kind of a layoff, um, a horse you know, who, hasn't, who gets 60 or 90 days off um, after a win, um, you can see right there with that formulator stat, his numbers are not good. He's three for 30 over the past five years. Your ROI is uh, about 60 cents on the dollar. You're not doing very well if you're betting these horses. We'll see if Strapping Groom can overcome all that and run his best race. He runs it, he wins. He has the rally in here. He has speed. And we're going to have to see what Irad Ortiz does with him because um, if he's going to try and go in here, he has other speed horses to his outside. Um, Dad's Caps is the four. He's a fast horse early. And I'm assuming he's going to go right to the front once again. He's done that in each of his last two races, and neither time could he hold on at the end. He was chased down both times by a horse he'll face against here, and that's Candy Mani, the number two. Candy Mani is a horse who has some speed. He'll want to be forward, if not right on the lead. Um, so we'll see what strapping groom can work out. Dad's caps um, feels like a horse to me who I could just never take on top in here, whether he makes the lead or not, because he had the best of it both times in his last two starts, and both times Candy Mani, uh, you know, who's a tough old timer, was just able to come and gun him down through the stretch. And Candy Mani to me feels like perhaps the better play in here to Dad's caps. Um, I, I think Candy Mani can win. Uh, I don't love him in this race. He doesn't feel like that great of a price, even if Strapping Groom starts. Strapping Groom will be the obvious favorite. Candy Mani probably the second choice. I think he can win. Um, all things considered, I wanted to take at least a little bit of a shot in this race. Um, I wouldn't suggest just tossing Strapping Groom in any multis that you play, but I'm going to try and beat him in the win end here, and I'm going to try and do it with Saturday's Charm, my old friend Saturday's Charm. I've always been a fan of his. He ran a big race in the Tom Fool last year. He came running from way out of the, uh, out of the pack, and he just missed it by a nose. Um, since then, it feels like he hasn't run quite as well as he was running at that time. He had a little bit of a layoff, and when he came back, he wasn't quite as sharp, but he's also caught some scenarios which haven't been ideal for him. He's a horse who, he's caught a couple of sloppy tracks, a, a good track. He's caught some short fields that where the pace didn't really develop for him, and that includes his last start where he was beaten in a, a high-priced uh, optional claim or allowance race, only a four-horse field that day, and he just had to sort of chase along to keep himself in range, and then he didn't have enough to, to run down in a moment's notice, a, a hot Jacobson horse that day as well. So... Um, I feel like in this spot with strapping groom, with dad's caps, maybe Candy Manny is showing a little speed. Maybe he gets a little bit of hitting up front finally, and he can just sit back and make one run because that's what Saturday's Charm really wants to do. I'm going to give him a chance to do it. Um, I'm not dead set against strapping groom in this race as a heavy favorite, but I'm going to try and beat him a little bit and just use him in the multis. I'm going to try and do it with Saturday's Charm. He couldn't get the money last year in the Tom Fool. I hope he gets it this year. Do you want to bet this race from home? You can do that. DRF Bets offers you the opportunity to, to stay at home, fund your account, and bet it. Uh, if you open an account now, you get a, a free $125 sign-up bonus, access to DRF PPs, DRF Plus, all that good stuff. You don't even have to leave your house. The grade three Tom Fool is race number four at Aqueduct on Saturday, and they have strapping room to beat.